Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy T3J, and I'm back once again with another banger for y'all. This is my last box I got. Um, it's pretty much just a shoe that I have not opened up in some years. So we about to crack this box open and see what's inside. It's my last one. Go check out my other two videos. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it, but it's probably say something along the lines of a uh, mystery sh box or mystery shoe. Um, and then I just going to have them put what the shoe is underneath it or something like that. Something like that. Don't quote me. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure 100% how I'm going to do it, but just just stay tuned. You're going to, you're going to, uh, yeah, you're going to uh, know what it is. That's why if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you'll know when I upload these videos, all right? Because I really don't have a schedule. I try, I try and I try to, you know what I'm saying, stick, get, get, get a schedule going, get some kind of routine going so that way people already know. But the way my life is, it's, I don't, I can't really go based off a of schedule. You know what I'm saying? I just, me, I, I just take one day at a time. And, uh, yeah, that's, so whenever I upload a video, I just, I just record and upload. All right. So, like I said, just hit that notification bell, subscribe first, and then hit the notification bell. So that way you'll always be aware and always know when I drop a vid. All right. Or if you want, you could just. Every once in a while, check my channel to see if I uploaded something. All right. Anyway, here we go. Jordan 11, size 11 and a half. I got to make this quick. Watch my daughter on this little children's camera and she is waking up so voila here we go jordan 11 concord got some of the box materials on there voila these boys are nice i remember man when i first saw these boys when i was in middle school or high school i believe middle school i'm actually 100 percent sure middle school i wanted these boys it was a lot of the Jordans I wanted when I was growing up. These being one of them. I also wanted the cool grays. I haven't got those yet. Maybe one day I will get them. I'm going to have to pay uh, resale value. Whatever that may be. People selling it for. But in time I'll get in. But uh, yeah. Let's see. The Jordan 13. The one of them boys. Let's to get the uh, bread 13s and the flint 13s. Still got the junk man Jordan right there. That's just clean. Very, very clean, man. Real clean. I will give my wife a pair of these, to be honest with you. But man. She's still learning how to take care of shoes. To her, it's just a pair of shoes. She don't really care about the, you know, the background, the history of it. She'll wear these shoes in the mud. No, no lie. I'll be having to tell her sometimes, like, no, 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 don't wear them. Don't wear them in the mud. No, no, no. You can wear this shoe. You can wear that shoe. Don't wear that shoe. She could tell you. I try to be respectful, though, you know, because at the end of the day, it's whatever she want to wear. She could be like, man, forget what you're talking about. I want to wear this, and that's that. But I mean, as a sneakerhead, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what shoe is okay to wear depending on the weather or depending on the occasion, you know? You go into a corn maze, and you just know off bat that there's going to be trap mud, all that kind of stuff animals farm animals gonna be out there all that you ain't gonna want to wear shoes like this this clean mess them up all that yeah but uh i ain't gonna keep y'all up 
too much. It's the Nike there. It's the OG pair, 45 on the back. Y'all know the history behind the 45. Just put it in the comment section. But that's the number Jordan was rocking, I believe, when he came back from retirement, his first retirement. Uh, it was the number he was rocking because somebody else had that number 23. All right, guys, I ain't gonna hold you up anymore. Y'all already familiar with the uh, classic. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all care about the widow, the widow's peak, or you, or do you like the high patent leather look too? Y'all put it in the comment section. Me, you know, I I think it looks dope, low or high, when it comes to the patent leather, and I don't care about the widow's peak. There's a few on there. There's a one right there. There's another one right there. I don't really care though about the widow's peak. For, for a long time though, that was one indicator to let you know um, if the shoe was a, a fake or not. People would go based off the widow's peak. But now you're no longer able to do that because you know Nike went back to the high patent leather and it has the widow's peak on there. You know what I'm saying? That's about it, guys. I'm getting out of here. Nice shoe. Clean shoe, man. This patent leather is crazy, though, man. Crazy. She was always classic. I don't know what this year Jordan 11 going to be for the holiday, but uh, Lord willing, hopefully we see it. All right, guys. Catch you on the next video, all right? Y'all be safe out there. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you have subscribed. For those that return to the channel to check out my videos, I appreciate it. Welcome back. For those that are new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button because I got more videos on the way. I got so many other shoes I need to check out. So just stay tuned. And... Uh, I got other couple of videos of dealing with sneakers on the way too. Like, I ain't gonna give anything away. Just stay tuned. Um, and don't forget also, there's one more thing I wanted to say too. I just, just slipped my mind. But uh, I ain't gonna hold you guys up. Y'all be safe out there. And again, I'll see y'all in the next video, all right? Peace.